something better picks in just a few clicks. Today we're going to look at losing weight with Affinity Photo and the Liquify tool. Let's begin. So I have this photo. The Liquify tool is up in the upper left corner. I'm going to go ahead and hit the Liquify Persona. And it works actually very similar to Adobe Photoshop's Liquify tool if you've used that in the past. And knowing those steps, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, lose a few sizes using the Liquify tool. First off, we need to freeze everything we don't want to change, at least at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and change with this big brush and brush off everything that I want to not be manipulated, at least during this part of the edit stage. So I'm going to go ahead and freeze off all the portions that I don't want to have uh, any change. I'm going to leave some area for the dirt in here, freeze the leg. It's a little bit smaller. It will be a harder brush by default. And to freeze in here. I'll freeze in probably here for now. I'll do that in another section uh, as well. It takes multiple stabs at it, something like that. Next, I'm coming to the Liquify Punch tool, which is actually what they call it in uh, Affinity. A fairly large brush. Come inside the body. I'm going to go ahead and hold. And while it does that, you can start to see it shrink. And if I go more uh, at a different angle, it will choose how it's going to morph or pull in the body. Something like that. And actually did not affect the calf. I'm going to bring in a little more frozen tool just to make it so the calf isn't affected on this particular portion. And shrink it up a little bit there. Then I'm going to go ahead and freeze the whole thing for now. And then I'm going to erase with the uh, thaw tool. It makes sense, a little flame idea to shrink portions of it like this. I'm going to shrink this portion of the arm. And the armpit area needs a little bit more shrinking, something like that. Come up back to the pinch tool, or the punch tool, infinity. I'm going to go ahead and pull it in a little bit. Sometimes it'll go a little bit larger brush than you might normally do. The larger the brush will make that happen a little bit more broad, broadly speaking. Now you can change the opacity and the speed aspects. I find uh, where they're at by default is usually pretty good. If we go too much, it'll make it too drastic, which that's going a little drastic there. But I think we're okay. I'm going to freeze that back. Come up to the arm. Make it fairly small here. Freeze the arm. Something like that. Come back to my punch tool. Make it a little bit larger and shrink in some of the punch tool. Now if you have a studio shot that has a plain simple background, it will help so the background doesn't kind of warp and squish with it. Uh, so a simple background will make them even less obvious that they're doing the changes to it. Or if you cut the person out, like mash them out, cut them out, that will, will, could work as well. Something like that. Continuing to just kind of freeze. And you could use the uh, options here to delete the mask. I like just keeping it all frozen for the most part. And then just thawing out the portions that I want to adjust. Into... Uh, Manipulate a little bit like that. Again, use a fairly large brush. I'm using some pretty small adjustment level to kind of suck in, almost like liposuction, but doing it digitally, uh, which is really a pretty cool thing uh, when you think about it, how you can make the changes what were not possible in the past or without any type of complications. Uh, we can make some of those changes pretty easily. Come up here, kind of tricky part here would be the foot. I don't want to warp the foot when I do those changes. So I'm going to come up here, somewhere like that. Get some of the dirt. The dirt's pretty easy to work around, something like that. Come in with my punch tool, pull it in a little bit. If I want to be more precise, I might do one leg at a time. So I'm not actually having both legs get a different warp into it. Uh, but this is working pretty good. Let's go ahead and freeze part of it, do a little more exact frozen action here. And that looks pretty good. So I go ahead and I can change all these settings in here with the size that I have the history panel, which can go back and forth. The history panel is really nice. You don't have that option. Uh, I don't believe in the Photoshop. I don't think that's been in there uh, in the recent versions make those changes. I've done the adjustments. Once I want to apply this, pull it back into Infinity, I go ahead and hit apply. Then it has now lost those changes. I can't go back and like re-tweak things. 
But for now, here is the changes. And before and after. Losing uh, a few sizes, yeah, all due to a little bit of liquify tool. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.